The great white shark is arguably the most popular shark in existence, so it would make sense that they're held in captive aquariums around the world for people to see, right? Well, not exactly. Great whites aren't held captive in any tank in the world, and they shouldn't be. Keep watching as we rattle off a few reasons why great white sharks should never be held captive. One giant issue when considering keeping a white shark captive is the act of capturing it. Great whites are already five feet long when they're born, and don't stay that small for long. For the safety of everyone involved, it would be best not to capture one. If you somehow wrangle a great white shark into your aquarium, there's still a handful of issues with keeping one. In fact, any time an aquarium has tried to home one of these sharks, they've all sadly passed away within a few days of being held captive. One issue to run into would be lack of resources. A great white can swim over 50 miles per day. Good luck finding a tank that can hold that much water. Additionally, these sharks will eat roughly 3% of their body weight each time they hunt. For an animal that can weigh up to 4,000 pounds, feeding them can get pricey. Keeping a great white shark in a tank is a danger to every worker involved. From capture to transport, to feeding, cleaning, and caring for the shark, he is still an apex predator that can grow up to 20 feet long and kill a man with one bite or one swipe of the tail fin. Not to mention, the entire process will hurt and eventually kill the shark itself. An animal that big thrashing around to avoid capture will definitely get injured and will continue to get injured swimming in the tank instead of the ocean. Even if all the stars are aligned and you're somehow able to safely keep and feed a great white shark in captivity, doing so will be far from humane. In an aquarium there is greater chance for disease in the shark since there is so much less water than the ocean. We've also seen sharks become depressed in captivity, with no ocean of roam and no life to live. And finally, we just don't know enough about these animals' dietary and habitat needs to be able to properly keep them healthy. Although it would be amazing to go to your local aquarium and see a great white shark, it just isn't a realistic possibility. For our sake and the sharks, these animals belong in the ocean.